I'm Dr. Ellen O'Donnell and I'm a clinical psychologist. I trained in child clinical psychology um, and I work at Mass General Hospital with the Pediatric Diabetes Clinic there. Um, and I do have type 1 diabetes myself. I was actually diagnosed when I was a senior in college, midway through my senior year of college. The transition to college and living independently can be really challenging and some students I think experience that as stress um, and feel that they're not doing as well as they should be doing to manage their diabetes. I think maybe even more typically students will experience that as relief <laughs> um, and find that when they get to college it's sort of nice to not have parents and school nurses and other people nagging them. Um, to do all the things that they need to do to manage their illness, but then they may go home for break, check in with their endocrinologist, learn that they really are not in good control, um, maybe even be given an ultimatum, you've got to get this under control or you can't stay away at school, you'll have to move home, and then it sort of precipitates a crisis. Um, and I think the other challenge is just that living with type 1 is a, is a stressful experience. It's, it requires a lot. And the transition to college can be a stressful experience. And it comes with a lot of change um, and inconsistent schedules and meals in the dining hall and all kinds of things that interact with diabetes and may make it different to manage than it was before. I think when some college students move away and there's that transfer of responsibility from mom and dad to them, then they take on that worry that maybe I left the stove on, maybe I didn't count right, do I have a snack with me, what's my blood sugar going into this exam, you know, wait, how many drinks can I have, when should I go home, did I get enough sleep? It's all of these kinds of worries that are running constantly in the back of your brain on top of all of the other stresses that college brings. Um, and so it's just different. And I think that it's partly just acknowledging that and that it is different and then digging through that a little bit with, with the student and making sure that they aren't overly worried, that they aren't um, panicking all the time that they left the stove on and the house is on fire because it's probably not. Chances are you turned off the stove. Chances are you're in good enough control that you're going to be okay and you're going to be safe. Um, but those worries can very easily get out of control. So I think probably the most basic thing for you to know about type 1 is that it's essentially a full-time job, <laughs> that um, there are many tasks in any given day that the student with type 1 has to manage. Oftentimes when I am talking to try to help people understand what living with diabetes is like, I use a statistic that we have that says that 95% of diabetes care is on the patient. So one way to think about that is that if there were 100 tasks in a week involved in managing diabetes, and there probably are, 95 of those tasks are the responsibility of the person with diabetes. And the 5% that that refers to belong to the medical team, to the doctors, the nurses, the nutritionists. But for younger students in elementary, middle, high school, those 95 tasks are still, still shared with other people. They're shared with their parents and their school nurse, maybe grandparents, um, other members of their support system. But as they get older and become more independent, more and more of those things fall on them. So they may never have had to keep track, for example, of insulin pump supplies and know when they're running out that it's time to order more. And so they may find themselves suddenly without what they need um, to, to take insulin. Um, and so I think that's just this added level of responsibility on them that can be particularly stressful. I think the most important thing is to really do your best to educate yourself on what type 1 is and to understand all of the things that are involved in managing type 1 or as many of the things as you possibly can in advance. It's going to be different for every student. Some students may be on insulin pumps, others may be on injections, um, and 
everyone struggles with different things. So I think if for some reason you're not able to do that in advance, that's okay. But I think to tell them, you know, I really wanna learn more about this. Um, maybe ask them where they might point you to learn more about it rather than them having to educate you themselves. Uh, there are a lot of really great resources out there through Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation or JDRF, through the College Diabetes Network, CDN. Um, many organizations in type 1 diabetes have great websites with tons of information.